this year that helped with more of like a team building thing was. I'm definitely going to get those like mules out to like state cross country, like not regions or like something like that. Or you can just kind of like, I uh, won't eat and talk to you, so we'll put like, get to know each other. Yeah, get to know each other. Because otherwise you guys, you don't really get to know them, like, unless you talk on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. If you know. That's true. And if they're home to one, then you can't even talk to them on the bus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so yeah, like and sometimes you don't really even talk at like meets because you're just running around trying to like cheer for people going hunting for golf balls. Yeah. Can you turn mine down, please? Yours is too. Yep, that's good. Hi. Yours loud or quiet? Yep, yeah, this is good. Okay. Um Megan. Uh, what? Uh, what do you think the biggest team board building thing we did was? Um, probably, um, those team practices. Those are really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys prefer running dump roads or, like, town roads? Dump roads. Dump roads. The gravel's just soft on my feet. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. If I ran, I think I would prefer dump road. I think you pulled yeah. probably, yeah. Um, and then the other thing is, do you think, do you think that, um, running as a, like, running, running, uh, in a group, like, in a group as, like, dual sport kids, do you think that's, like, better or worse than just running better for practice? Because, um, like, I know this year we did us, it was me, Brecken, you, Cambria, and Reagan. Mm -hmm. I think. Where was it? Wasn't Tessa? Oh, uh, yeah, and Tessie. And we ran for, because we were all dual sport kids. Do you guys like that more or less than? It definitely got, it made things go a lot, by a lot quicker, it? though. Like. Yeah. I feel like there's more talking than you would expect when there's mm -hmm. dual sport kids. Like, you're talking as you really, and you're talking just, like, to keep up. With yeah, because... It, it also, do you guys think that talking to other people or and or yourself while running helps? Mm, yeah. Because I feel like it makes more of a distraction for me. It's a distraction from, like, the pain from the tiredness in your legs and, like, your chest is, like, as, as you're trying to catch your breath and everything, it kind of is, uh, yeah. it is a distraction from that. Yeah. Do, what do you guys think the worst part of cross country is? Like, the worst feeling or the worst, like, emotion? The nerves before the race. Oh, um, the feeling of, like, not placing and you're, like, right there. Yeah. Welcome, see you. Mm -hmm. This is weird. Um. No, no, no. Ignore the background noise. Um. I told you don't do it by yourself. Why? Welcome to your because it's. He also runs cross country, so this is not topic. Mm -hmm. Have a slim um. shady haircut. <laughs> um. What you do you have one specific person that, like, you want to be more like as you go in cross country? Like, is there one person that you're just trying to do, or do you want to just, like, kind of keep to yourself kind of thing? Other people? Myself. Like, is there anyone that you look up to? A better me? 
That's not looking up to someone. That's just looking up to yourself. You're the only one who has siblings that are in cross country. That doesn't matter. That, I don't. I know. I don't like, strive to be more like Josiah. I mean, like you could strive to be like one of your better teammates, or like you yeah. could, you could more like. I mean, in, do you look up to anyone that's on the team? So like, no. I mean. The coaches. I might look up to like yeah, the coaches or someone who just has a really good attitude all the time or like is just really Yeah. Do you need lead by chance? Hmm? So do you need lead by chance? And we're also doing homeless this time. <laughs> yeah, we'll so we'll break it is. this is a study hall. Mm-hmm. Do you? We'll break it is. No. Oh, okay. Because we're also on a deadline, so um but yeah. Um What's what is your least favorite part about uh, like what is your least favorite part about being done with cross country? Like once you're done with cross country, is what is the least? What is your least favorite thing to do once you're done with cross country? Like after the entire season. Yeah. Or, um, like, do you don't do you not like practicing after cross country? Do you not like? I don't like much? running by myself. Like. Like it's an unscheduled practice by myself. Like my in my own time running by myself is. Yeah. Kind of, it's almost hard to get back into practicing after you were like, mm. like I was doing. We had a break between cross country and basketball. But after basketball, I didn't run at all, and so now I'm trying to slowly back ease into like. Well, it doesn't help that it yeah. goes from it goes from being like warmish, cool, and then it just mm-hmm. gets super cold. Yeah, because I've been running like road wind and all that this stuff this time of year. It's, yeah, no. Mm. When you guys were in like sixth grade, did you guys have to run by yourself, or did you guys run with teammates? Um, we ran with teammates like with practice, we were. I ran with um a, a, a few different people, but like we all run together. If it's a practice, we all not like stick together, but we all run in the same location. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. I thought there was. was I thought there was a couple of times where you guys had to like run by your on your own time. We did have to run on it, like we. St- we In between like longer meets when or like she has stuff going on. Or if there's been. like, or if there's, there's sometimes there's practices where she just doesn't want the junior high kids there. Not very often, but um, I think there might have been one time in the morning where she didn't want us to come, but that was like once. Yeah, because we were younger and she just wanted to focus on like what people yeah. were like in the end. But I think that only happened once. But it's pretty much if, and I mean we do run on our own. But, like, if we're running as a practice, we run with other people. If we're running as a practice but on our own time, it's completely different. Yeah. Because yeah. we're more classified as, like, practicing. Well, I almost classify it as practicing for practice. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like practice yeah. by yeah. myself. So Practicing for practice? Let's go. Yeah. Um, oh, do you guys too over prepared? What? Can't be too over prepared. Yeah. Mm-mm. Do you guys prefer running when it's cool, cold, or like lukewarm or hot? The cool mornings. Yeah, lukewarm. Like you see, cool. and I prefer, and I prefer like, like you know, in the summer when it's 60, 70 degrees in the morning. Oh yeah. I like running at that point in time. Oh, or I like, like 5:30 in the morning. I like running like these mornings. Mm, I can't do that. I get too cold. <laughs> I feel like if it would be too hot, you'd get way too sweaty, way too quick. But if it, if it was That's why I prefer cold, like 60 degrees. If it was too cold, you would get way too cold, mm-hmm. way too fast. The good part about running, though, is the factor that it doesn't matter if it's that cold out. If you're pushing yourself, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, Um. but like the mornings at like 7.30, I'm saying. Like these. Not yeah, like I know. Early, early morning. I was going to say, because I didn't know if you meant like... 7 o'clock in the morning, or because I run at 5.30 to 6. So so especially guys, in the summer. So you guys run the 30 minutes on practices? No, not that, even. Yeah, I'm practice. I'm ta- I'm saying practicing at home. Like in the summer, I run from, f- I run, like I'm meaning I start my run anywhere in between 5.30 and 6 o'clock was what I meant. Mornings so or afternoons? Like mornings. Like I run at 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I'm the entire opposite. I'll run at, like, the sunset, and then I'll run into I run at sunrise. Yeah. I will look up, and I'll go on my app, and I'll be like, what time sunrise is? 
and then I'll wake up and I'll run like two minutes before sunrise, and so then you get to watch it come up. Yes, I, I do sunsets because it, it looks so cool, especially if you're running towards sunset. Like last year I was running, like, um, doing some of this here. I was running and there was lightning like all around and it was super fun and the sunset was going down and there was lightning off in the distance. I was, I was, I, I had just gotten the shoes I have on now that I wore this year and I think a little bit of last year, but I had just got, no, I got them this summer for cross country, okay? And I was so excited that the day I got them, it was raining and thundering and all the, those things and I took them out anyways because I wanted to run and see what they felt like. I feel like that's one of the big things is, what's one thing that cross country completely changed for you guys? Like, what's, the, what's one thing you guys do completely differently since cross country? Running normally. Running normally? <laughs> I used to like, never run normally. Mine is I cannot run putting my one foot forward and putting the same hand forward. Like, I can't put them both forward. Just. Because you run, you run this hand forward and this foot forward. Mm, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. yeah, and I can't run the other way, so I can't run with this foot forward and this arm forward. That's not what you're supposed to do. Like you, I can't do it. So you can't do both sides forward. I can't run. I can't put this foot forward while I put this arm forward when I run. Yes, no, I'm supposed to run. Yeah, so I can't do it anymore because that's. I used to be able to put both of them That's forward. what you used to do? Yeah, and so now I can't do it anymore because I just automatically switch it. It's interesting because I'll find myself like... Like I'll fix my form. It's weird. <laughs> no, it's really weird because like I would be running and then I just find myself doing like practicing like cross country form. Like what's the form? I yeah. shouldn't be doing this type of form. Or yeah. So and so. Oh, like, I now, I can't walk without swinging my arms. Anybody else have that problem? I walk I always, and I swing my arms. I always. Because I'm not, I don't, I normally did, like, I, before I used to just put, keep my arms at my sides, but now I swing them. I, I don't swing, swing them like arms. this, but I swing them like, like, just swing them. You had some weird habits. Yeah, I did. Like, I legitimately used to walk like this. How? I wouldn't swing my arms. I don't know. <laughs> Why? I can't do it anymore. I you just feel don't. faster anyway, like swinging your arms. <laughs> like, were you yeah, just rather than like a penguin? Like, like, like I was just watching nor walking normally to keep my arms at my side. Like, I wouldn't move them. So you were speed walking as a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> like, if a penguin had long legs. Yes. Kind of, yeah. What time is it? Because that clock is wrong. It is. Time is that clock so wrong? 56, so we've got. I think ten minutes. Ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. Well, that's the short one. Good bye. Last one. See you next See you next year. See you next year. What? What about next year? We probably won't do this next year. Mm. Yeah, we do videos next year. Alright, bye.